Hi everyone, this is the gas walkthrough for June 22nd. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving a Rossini Sudoku by Bill Murphy. I want to say Rossini, but I think Rossini is more correct, so that's what I'm going with. Um, normal Sudoku rules, one to nine in each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, we have some arrows outside the grid, and if there is an arrow in a column or in a row, they tell us that the digits in the first three cells in that direction are away from that uh, side of the grid must increase in the direction of the arrow. So this arrow in row one is pointing left to right, so we increase from left to right. This is smaller than this, which is smaller than this. And Ordinarily, this variant has a negative constraint. So if you didn't have an arrow, then neither direction could be increasing or decreasing. You'd have to go up, down, or down, up. Um, we don't have that because Bill is being kind. The negative constraint in this variant confuses me every time. Um, so let's get started. And I can see in box one, we have a nice start. This arrow is pointing up, so we're increasing going up. But then this arrow is pointing to the right, so we're increasing in that direction. And then this arrow is pointing down, so we're increasing in that direction. So effectively, we have a thermo around box one. So we can just fill in the digits that are missing from the box in order. And we're good there. And I suspect we're going to have something similar elsewhere. Um, yeah, so here we go down, we go left, we go up, and it's actually the same digits down here. Uh, we do have the same in these boxes, so right, down, left, um, but we don't have these digits here. Uh, so do I want to mark those? I guess I will go ahead. Um, so like I said, effectively this is a 7-cell thermometer. We have two degrees of freedom, so we can mark one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six, and so on. Um, but notice we have a four and a five here, so this has to be three, two, one. And we have a four here, so that can be four, five, six, seven. We have a nine here, so this is eight, seven, six, and five. And then the nine is also going to disambiguate those two digits. Can do the same sort of thing down here, I suspect. So again, we have, in this case, left, up, right, another seven cell thermo. Again, we have four or five here. So this is going to have to be three, two, one. And then we have a four at the top again. So five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, seven, nine. And we have a nine right there. So hopefully you were able to follow that. Um, if you haven't solved this and you're not familiar. Um, but yeah, just pretend, in fact, I'm gonna draw little lines in here since I can do that. Just pretend this is a thermo, this is a thermo, and this is a thermo, and this is a thermo. And I will even put some circles. So that's what those are telling us. Okay, let's look at the remaining cells. Uh, we have seven and eight here, and there's a seven in the row. We have eight and nine here, there's a nine in the row. We have eight and nine here, there's a nine in the column, and seven and eight. So more nice symmetry there. Uh, these are one, four, and six. And this arrow tells us we're going increasing in this direction. So we can't have a, a one in the middle, that's a four. And this has to be less than four, so it's two or three. These are two, three, or five, and that's not two. All right, here we have one, four, and six again. That one's not four. This one's not one, because we're increasing going this direction. These are two, three, and five. So either of these is possible here. Oh, the six here gives us a one. Okay, uh, we need a nine in the row. And then this is two, three, or five, but it's not two in the box. 
Here we need a seven in the row, and there's a seven there. And this is one or four, it's not six. And we have a three, five pair. All right, let's come up here. So one, three, and six. This is not six in the column, and it's not one, because again, we're increasing going that way. These are two, four, five. And again, we're increasing going this way. The only thing less than three here is two. These are one, three, six. This can't be one because this time we're going this way. These are two, four, five. This is not two. And since this has to be bigger than four or five, it is six. And that's gonna resolve one and six up here. The three resolves one and three. Uh, that's not two, so that's our only place for two. A four, five pair here, so we're missing three. Uh, this is four or five, but we have a two or five pair in the row, so that's four, five, four, five, four. That's a one. That's a five. Eight goes in the middle. And the one here gives us six, one, four, and six. And to finish off, now that we have a four here, we know we're increasing in the direction of the arrow. This is three. So that will resolve everything else. And that's the solution. Um, very clever setup from Bill, as usual. Um, if you found these effectively seven cell thermometers, this puzzle is going to be a lot easier. If you didn't, now you know what to look for in this variant. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that, um, and I will see you next time.